to match my engagement ring. We got a Flourish Puffco Peak Pro. Hey y'all, it's Short and Stoned, but if you're new here, you can call me Kelly. I'm a Canna advocate, medical patient, and solventless foods entrepreneur. Today, I'm going to share with you a $700 Dispo Hall from California and Oregon. All right, so a little bit of context. I was traveling around on a road trip through Cali and Oregon for my engagement trip. You can check out my previous video where I shared a story time of how I was engaged at Yosemite National Park. But in this video, I want to focus on all the goodies I got along the way. First, I'll start with what I was able to pick up in California. We drove from Yosemite National Park right after our engagement to San Francisco. I knew I wanted to see the Golden Gate Bridge and we had to celebrate with some fresh new product. Instead of popping champagne, we're doing dabs. We stopped in San Fran at a lovely, high-end, clean, bright, vibrant store called the Apothecary. When we went into the store, we knew we wanted to get some California high-end rosin. But I was also shocked when they had a deal for Uncle Arnie's beverages. But the first thing I picked up without even looking at the rosin selection was infused beverages. If you know me, you know I love anything that gets metabolized. They had a four for 30 deal. So those made a 100 milligram glass bottle super affordable. I grabbed a watermelon wave. I got two of these, but I finished one day two of the music festival in Bend, Oregon. Next, I grabbed the pineapple punch. I'm not really a big pineapple fan, but I figured these will be great for making mocktails. The last flavor that I got as part of the deal was recommended by the bud tender. I always love hearing bud tenders recommendations. They'll never steer you wrong. So I got the smackin' apple. Again, I'm not a big apple gal, but I figured this in a mocktail will be phenomenal. Especially apple cider coming up now that it's fall. Ooh. All right, let's get into the big kahuna, what I was most excited to get, some California rosin. I'll be honest, when I first looked at the menu and I saw Papa Select, I thought, wow, they only have one rosin brand, but I really wanted to try Papa's and Barkley. <laughs> Guys, I'm gonna be honest and expose myself. Papa Select is by Papa's and Barkley. I didn't realize that till I was reading the box when I left. It says on the back, sun grown craft cultivators. Papa Select celebrates the premium concentrate experience by working hand in hand with our farm partners in North Cal to create high quality, small batch products. We craft our award-winning concentrates with the finest sun grown plants using an artisanal solventless process to create the truest expression of the live plant. I just think that just shows their morals, their values, where they stand, where they've created a niche for themselves in the industry. And there's even a sticker on it that said, this exact wash won an emerald cup. Guys, this, this is like the Olympic gold of California rosin right here. I'll loop in a photo. I took a photo before I even tried it, just so I could share with you guys what it looked like right off the bat. So I've been tasting it and man, it tastes freaking phenomenal. It's not your traditional consistency for rosin, like a batter or a butter. It is giving more first press vibes. Super shiny, super terpy, tastes so nice. Oh, banana punch, so good. And then it was grown by Emerald Queen Farms. So Emerald Queen Farms grew the flower in North Cal and PNB washed it and distributed it. So that's wrapping up for California. I just got four infused beverages by Uncle Arnie's in various fruity flavors. And of course I had to get my fruity terps in some banana punch by Papa Select price-wise. The drinks were four for 30 pre-tax and the Papa Select was 50 pre-tax. I don't have them to show, but they did give us, we already ate them, but we had tablets. We had 50 milligram tablets from Kiko. 
I'll include a photo here. It was fast acting. It was infused with vitamins such as L-thylene and terpenes like cariophylline and myrcene, which are all great for relaxing. It was just a regular tablet. You swallow whole, white, flavorless. If this is the future of corporate canna manufacturing, we don't want it. Took the fun out of it, but it did work. But those were some freebies we got from Cali. We got two of those. Alrighty, let's work our way to Oregon. We went to Bend, Oregon after going to Yosemite National Park, Redwood National Park, and Crater Lake. Here at this music festival, we upgraded to the VIP experience, which I think was well worth it. They were giving out in the VIP section infused gummies and beverages. I'm not kidding. I was blown away. I was like, okay, people in Oregon, they know how to party. I'm coming back. So the first thing they were handing out was these Moonwalker D9 gummies. My favorite OG Canna creator works super closely with this brand, Mac Dizzle. So I was super happy to finally get my hands on a product and try these. I just ripped this open and tried one gummy just to see the flavor and the texture. I will definitely be filming a, another video next week explaining Delta 9 manufacturing, but I will also be giving a review as a medical patient in Colorado, how Delta 9 affects me compared to regular products. These are the Moonwalker hemp derived D9 gummies, Nyx and Miranda. It is black raspberry and pink lemonade. These are what the gummies look like. There are just four gummies in here at 10 milligrams a piece. I only ate one, so I have 110 milligrams of these gummies. Stay tuned, very excited to dive into the world of D9 and Moonwalker. Because although I live in a rec and medical state, I know a lot of people aren't as fortunate. And then they were also giving out VIP, this new brand I never heard of called Take It Easy. These are hemp infused shots. This one has CBN in it and CBD. This one has THCV and CBG. So one is called Lion's Focus Mango Chill. Oh my gosh. And there's 500 milligrams of Lion's Mane Mushies in here. I didn't even realize that, that's awesome. All right, let's see, this one just says, take it easy, hemp shop supplement, citrus twist. This one does not have any mushrooms in it, but it does have CBN and CBD. Those were the freebies that I got at Cascade Equinox Music Festival. But let's get into the products I purchased in Oregon. I purchased all of these products at House of Hash in Lapine, Oregon, outside of Bend. This is a great shop. They're small, they're mom and pop. They've got bud tenders that really know what they're talking about, especially when it comes to rosin. I love to talk to the bud tenders and listen, what they're consuming, what they like. When I first went by, I was just going to pick up three G's of rosin just to enjoy. Then something happened. I got engaged and it's with a moss agate. If you're unaware of what that means, buddy, that means it's the same color as the Flourish Peak Pro. So to match my engagement ring, we got a Flourish Puffco Peak Pro. This was $420 even. I will be doing a more in-depth video comparing it to the new Peak, but I will also be doing just a regular unboxing and tutorial. So let's get into the product I picked up in Oregon, and then we'll start doing some tasting. When I was in House of Hash, a regular came in talking about how she always gets squishy scientific rosin. And I was like, girl, you sound like you have a great taste. So I had to try it. This is in Shady Apples. It's definitely giving like a rotten gassy apple, that's for sure. The bartender said that this one is like a mind eraser. So yeah, pretty, pretty easy decision to get that one. And then uh, again, I just wanted to try some different cultivators, washers, and brands to see what I like. I grabbed two Decibel Farms. This was the top brand the bud tender recommended, and I got them in GMO 
and Forbidden Bananas. I really like on the packaging here, it tells you the terp percentage. Like it's 8% terps on the GMO and 11 on the Forbidden Bananas. That's freaking crazy to me. But here's the GMO. GMO is my favorite, 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 favorite flavor lineage terp profile. Nothing beats it for me, nothing. And then I had to get Forbidden Bananas cause I love, love Forbidden Fruit and anything bananas, again, always works for me. It's not really banana-y flavor. The Forbidden Fruit really overpowers it really happy with this one. The Decibel Farms were about $45, $40 pre-tax. Squishy Scientist was $37 pre-tax. And then I got one more by Verdant Leaf in the flavor Cherries and Strawberries. And this one I believe was $35. I really, really, really love this one because of all the crosses and lineages. So overall, I got a great freaking pickup. I got a lot of different fruity flavors, got some gassy terps as well. I got infused beverages. I was given free infused shots and gummies, and I was able to obtain a, a limited edition Puffco Peak Pro in the Flourish Green. All right, I want to share with you guys my favorite most shocking and lowest ranking on the totem pole. My favorite, my most favorite, my top watch, the Puffco Pro. Let me, let me grab it for you. One second, one second. Baby dolls, are we, are we playing? Or who are we messing with? Who, who? We'll take a rip out of this in a second. My most shocking would probably be the Freebie Moonwalker D9 gummies. And the lowest ranking on the totem pole, tablets. Just those were an interesting experience. I did not like those. Out of all the products I received in the past week, that was the lowest ranking one. I'm so grateful. I'm overflowing with abundance. I love having quality product. I feel so grateful and so blessed. And yeah, let me know in the comments below which one was your favorite or which product would you like to try from this batch? All right, let's do a dab and then we can log off. Oh, it lights up. I already have my heat setting set. I have Purple Galaxy is the lowest. Then I have Rainbow Road. Then I have Sunset and the Flourish colorway is going to be my peak. Cheers. Thanks for tuning in, guys. All right, thanks for tuning in guys. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And if you'd like to session hang out with me more, don't forget to subscribe and check out my previous video where I shared a story time on my engagement. And next week's video, I'm sharing advice from female canna creators in the industry. I upload videos every Thursday and Saturday. So I'll see you real soon. Peace. No one told you today, I appreciate you.